Hello and welcome to Midweek. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, NSA School of Cyber is in session, and September is National Suicide Prevention Month. These stories and more, but first, Last week, we reported that two of the six-member team representing the United States at next week's NATO Chess Championships in Quebec City, Canada, are assigned to Fort Meade. Colonel David Hayter and Master Sergeant Robert Keogh are busy making last-minute preparations, but they took time out today to talk with a team from WBAL-TV News in Baltimore. The tournament starts on Monday and runs through Thursday. We'll have all the results on next Friday's show. In the meantime, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. We'll have a message from Army.mil in just a moment. But first, a local reminder. Links to Fort Meade suicide prevention resources are right on the front page of our website. Besides the hotline numbers, we have links to national resources as well as to Fort Meade's Assist or Applied Suicide Intervention Skills Training Program. It's offered every third Wednesday and Thursday of the month. The larger message from all these sites is that if you think you need assistance or you know someone that might, don't stay silent. There are a multitude of resources available 24-7. Meanwhile, here's a message from Army.mil. You put something else. I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't know what's wrong with you. You are dealing with pain, anger, a heaviness. It feels like there is no way out. It seems like you are in this by yourself, battling alone. But you are part of one army family, shoulder to shoulder with a community there to get you through these hard times. There is no shame, no guilt in seeking out help. So if you are struggling, feeling depressed, or even having thoughts of suicide, it is time to talk to someone. Your Army family is committed to finding you the strength and hope you need to rebound from adversity. Because, above all else, our most essential resource is you. In other news, did you know that the NSA offers one of the most formidable cyber security training programs in the world? Here's Steve LaFontaine, the Dean of the NSA's College of Cyber. Dean of the College of Cyber. Um, it's a new school that was just stood up within the National Cryptologic School and it's responsible for uh, education and training of the cyber related workforce for NSA and we also support uh, training of cyber command personnel. There are lots of uh, schools out there. There are some of the military schoolhouses have some cybersecurity training. Um, a lot of uh, the private institutions, the colleges, state colleges and universities do cyber education. Um, we tend to focus a little bit more on you know agency specific needs. So so a lot of our classes are very, I would say. Uh, NSA centric, um, a little bit more about how we do things at NSA or how we use technology at NSA. The Centers of Excellence program is focused on getting universities to include in their programs the types of foundational sci computer science uh, training and education that we need so when we hire the people we don't have to then train them on basic computer science we can just train them specifically on what we do. Um, a lot of schools had in the recent years had gotten away from our needs uh, because the the world has changed so much and a lot of uh, computer science programs now focus on uh, application layer secure application layer technology uh, and mobile technology, and we're still looking uh, deeper than that. Finally, a reminder from MWR, the GI Film Group Film Festival is making a stop at Fort Meade next week. The GI Film Festival is a national nonprofit organization dedicated to tell the stories of American veterans. Next Friday, join the GI Film Festival at Constitution Park at 7 p.m. for a program of film festival entries, as well as the blockbuster GI Joe Retaliation. Once again, the GI Film Festival is coming up Friday, September 12th at 7 p.m. at Constitution Park. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.